you better believe we're safe the game. You guys should remember this floor very well. This is the floor with the lieutenant. He has 250 health. He has a Gatling laser. This guy's fucking mean. Right, I don't really want to get into too much of a fight. Does this work? That one does not work. Okay then. Right. Sure. Where we want to go to is here. These are the vats, folks. This is where all of the FEV stuff is stored. There's also the VATS control computer, which we kind of want. And as you can see, there's children of the cathedral technicians. Further proof these guys are bad. Now, I'm exceptionally concerned this is about to go bad. Run. Run! <laughs> Ian, I hate you. <laughs> right, if you guys would do me a favour and just stay here for a moment. I have something I want to try. Just just don't just, just stop hold here for a second. I may have to fight some Mr. Handies, but it'll be worth it. Hello! Don't mind me! I'm but an innocent... Ah, oh, shit. I was hoping that wasn't going to happen. Oh well, okay. You asked for it. Go for the sensors! Take that. Yeah, screw you. Save, uh, save the game? Why do you keep doing this, Katya? Is it because you've got a melee weapon that you keep doing this? Or is it just because... What is going on? Oh shit! Um, that's not good. Who have I? That's hmm. the lieutenant's guard is wondering what all the commotion is about. This could get complicated. This could get very complicated. Oh shit! He's got a rocket launcher. Oh heavens, hell, shit! And Cat is like, dum de dum, nothing's wrong, everything will be fine. I'm like, you are kidding me, right? Do you realize what's about to happen? Oh boy. Tycho's getting involved now? Oh, this is gonna be bad. Somehow they've missed Katya. Oh my god. I don't even know where she's going. I don't know what the AI is doing. Can I target either of them? I can target you. Go for his right arm. Get him to drop that fucking minigun. Yes. No? Well, it did 70 damage. How much health have these guys got? 110 each. Ugh. Oh, you got 90. That's not so bad. I did not want to get in a fight with the lieutenant's guards here. I did not want this to happen. This is... A really bad situation, everyone. I did not want this to happen. Um, go for his head. Yeah, critical hit. Oh, hell, that was needed. That was going to be a world of pain and misery if that had gotten off. Oh, my goodness, you don't even know. Major result there. Reload the gun. Damn, you these stim packs. Cat years like, yeah, look at me go. I'm taking on the Robo Brain. I'm the greatest. I hate you. Oh, he's going to fire that. I can't do anything about it. Help. Ah. Is that a Gatling laser you've got as well? Um. It is. Oh, shit. You need to die. Good shot, Tycho. Thank you. Ooh, those Galling lasers are mean. Woohoo! Level up! Alright. I really want to see if I can use these. What is it, science? Is it seven? 
No, I guess not. I thought I could, like, screw around with like, the AI and get them to, like, target things here, but I guess not. No, well, never mind. Right, I did not exactly plan for that to come. So, yeah, here we go, folks. This is, uh, the HK L30 Gatling Laser, designed specifically for military use. They were in a prototype stage at the beginning of the war. Mole barrels allow a longer firing. They use microfusion cells. They are very, very mean weapons. I'm incredibly tempted to take one. I don't think I can because they're so heavy. Yeah, I'd have to drop some shit. I'm actually going to try this. Can I pick this up? I don't know how heavy it is. Right, drop that. Drop those, because I don't actually need them. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, okay! I can dig this! I don't know how effective I'd be with this. Yeah, you can see the difference there. You see, it's obviously nowhere near as, as uh, powerful as the Turbo Plasma Rifle, but still... It could be a fun weapon. Oh, it uses microfusion cells? Oh yeah, of course it does. Didn't I just say that? I do have some logic. I really do. We're gonna use this. Why not? What does this get governed under as... Uh, I assume this gets governed under as big guns? I don't know. Lieutenant is here. Do I really want to take on Tony J? He will be a miserable, miserable fight. Let's fucking do this. Come on, Tony J. I don't know what this comes under as, um, so we're about to find out. Oi! Scumbag! Ooh, is this coming under as energy weapons? Nice! Let's do this, fool! You cannot survive! I am the lieutenant! You shall... Ow! Ow! That was rude! How could you do such a thing? Oi, scumbag! Get fucked! <laughs> Take that, Van Hagen! That was awesome. Lieutenant's like, you're gonna pay for that. So I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> Help! Heal! Heal! Heal and run! Heal and run for your life, Shadow! Tycho, have you lost your. Unbelievably, he's going for me, which is very entertaining. Oh, this takes six action points? Yeesh! Let's get around the corner here. Let's get up here. And I'm gonna lure, I'm gonna lure the lieutenant into a trap. While Tycho attempts to melee him, which is bold. Oh shit, it's out of ammo. That's what was going on, right. I didn't know. Thank you. All 2 HP. Oh boy. I have nowhere to hide. He has 250 health. Yikes. Oh shit, I can't actually shoot. There. Shoot from here. Oh, I downed him! Oh! <laughs> Hello! Take that, Lieutenant! That was beautiful. That was legit beautiful. No! Kaya! Oh, he's used stim packs. He hasn't actually fired. He was about to decimate her. That was going to be terrible. Oh no, um, what have I got for my other weapon now? Oh shit, I have to run away. If Tony J is going to go for me, then I have to get out of the way of the app, my allies. He's stimpacking away, which is probably the intelligent thing to do. I nailed him with that shot. Don't kill her. Yes. Oh man. I didn't actually intend to fight the lieutenant. It was not part of my plans. But that's kind of how this game seems to have transpired, interestingly. So, here we are. 
This is so dangerous shooting now. Oh, I shot Katya. Oh, she's not dead. But that was that was kind of foolish. Shouldn't really have done that. Lieutenant reloading. He's firing away. I don't know how much health he regained doing that. How much health has he got now? Oh, he's nearly dead. You're fucking mine. Oh, piss. Grenade him! Yeah! Goodbye. God bless. Farewell. The lieutenant is dead. Nice. Give me my experience points. Chump. Absolute chump. Huh? What is this? I don't actually... I'm not actually too sure. Give me some ammo. Heavens no, I need... I need it. I don't actually know what that is. Oh, I know what that is. It's an encrypted decoder. Right! I forgot about this item. I forgot that the lieutenant had this. This is actually quite useful. I forgot it existed. We're going to need this. Right. That was awesome, everyone. Katya needs healing. <laughs> Holy hell. Absolute chaos. Notice how the lieutenant does have his own unique death animation. Which is pretty awesome. Um, you need loads of healing. I'm sorry, Katya. I've put you through some, some misery here. She should be fine now. There we go. Tycho needs... He's alright. Alright then. Uh, you guys, please join me again. Because I, I was going to attend. If I was going to fight the lieutenant, I can't want to do it myself. I was scared that they would get mur murdered. Oh, shit. Whoops. I didn't mean for this to happen. Okay. I also did not know the Gatling laser came under... Um, that this came under Andrew Webb. I assumed it was big guns. I don't mind. It's certainly not as good as... Um, it's not as good as... Ian. It's certainly not as strong a weapon as the uh, plasma rifle. Especially when it's turbocharged. But, you know. It is what it is. Right. Uh, I need to get another um, one of these out. Because I will need to heal Ian. Ian will kind of need the help. Damn. Luckily, my companions will take care of that for me. Ian using his own stim pack. There you go. Good job. Severe damage. Well, this has actually been quite an entertaining run on the military base. I, um, a lot more entertainment than I thought I was going to have here, for sure. Yeah, freaking assault rifles. I don't know if they can burst fire them. I have no idea. Now, an interesting thing will happen because we've taken out the, um, we took out the, uh, the lieutenant. I think I wasn't actually, oh shit, hold on. No, piss. Hold on, you guys, stop there for a second. I've realized I've just been stupid. I forgot to tell Ian to join me. And I don't want you guys running through here again. So just wait there two seconds. Oi, you. Thank you. I do not want you guys to stand around, especially after all of the hell that we're about to go through. These guys don't even know, but I do. Holy shit, do I. Right. Damn. Try again. There we go. Let's get through here. Now, because we've killed the lieutenant, something strange will happen here when we walk through here. And we introduce ourselves to the, uh, to the guards. Hi! How do you do? Doing well? Yeah. So if we now try and speak to these guys, they will commit suicide. Because we've killed the so-called right hand of God, i.e. the lieutenant, they will all commit suicide. It's a thing they'll do. They surrender. They give up. I think if we haven't taken out the lieutenant, they will um, they will be resistant. But because we've killed him, they're like, you know what? You fucking win. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I do. So, I suppose I should show this off here. 
this disc and what exactly it does. We're just going to drop this for a moment. Let's put it down. So what you will find here is there is a the VAT terminal control computer, which we can and will use. You try and use the information, but excuse me, but you're unable to get any useful information out of it. Right, I need to use science on it. Come on. Is it not that one? I'm sure it's that one. Get out of the way. Thank you. Well, maybe I do need that. Maybe I actually need the disc to actually use it in the first place. We're about to find out. Right. Let's use this then. So the pit boy displays downloading data from disc. Uh yeah, so that just downloads the data. There's nothing actually for me to look at here, I don't think. I don't believe so. No. Maybe that should allow me to use this though. Hmm. What is it I'm looking for here? There's something here I can use. I could have sworn it was that. Is it not? Weird, I assume this was the thing I needed to use. Are you sure this isn't it? This is kind of weird, folks. I assumed that was the one. Am I being stupid here? The traps? Yeah, I know that. I want to use it. Why the hell can I not use this thing? You managed to get an interface screen out of the VATS control pier. Okay then, finally we've got it to work by using loads of science. Right, here we go. So, yeah. Um, let me come out of this and see if I can't show this beforehand. Oops. Yeah, so if I go ahead and drop this thing, I don't know if I use this or not in this one. We're about to find out. So I think you do have to just science this thing a lot, and eventually it will get you to... Yes, I would. There we go. So if we haven't used this, I think what happens... Um, uh, well, maybe not. Maybe I've already used it. I don't remember. Search the logs. Um, end input session. Um, so there's various logs that are on the, um, on the, uh, computer here we can read. Maxon, I remember that name. Yep, down on the log of Captain Maxon. There's also a name of Richard Gray. Hmm. We're going to download all these. Boyarski, that doesn't work. And Anderson does not work either. Okay then. We're going to set the base to an alert status. Which has probably pissed off the guards. I probably shouldn't have done that. Right. Can you Let's use this again? Display security codes. Yeah. So, we need to mess around with the... We basically need to destroy this base. Now, there are a set of codes here that will do a variety of things. Um, and we can use this to basically, in great... Well, ain't Resident Evil, but in great tradition, set off a self-destruct sequence. Unfortunately, the... Um, we don't know what does what. This is all we have. Um, and if you don't know what you're doing, you have no idea what controls what, folks. So, example, I think, like, um, so you can just press a random one here. You can attempt to hack the firewall to get more data. Um, or, if you have the, um, the lieutenant's disc, you can unveil what the hell these actually do. Let's try and hack this. Nice! Actually hacked it! So this is what they all do. So, this one will initiate a minute silent alert. That will give you a 30 second self destruct sequence. This will um, uh, initiate a 3 minute self uh, silent self destruct. Um, self destruct, self destruct, various things they'll do. Which is all nice and dandy. Isn't there only 5 there? Hmm. Let me reload the game here quickly. 
Of course, oh, the reason that doesn't work is because, of course, the base is already on alert status. They already know I'm here, don't they? That is a thing. Right. I didn't think about that. I only work here. Great. No, not repair it. Science it. There we go. So, if we've got the disc on us... Oh, shit. I haven't actually done it yet. Oh, piss. Hold on. Can I get out of here? Bollocks. Hold on. I don't know what that just did. Right, that set the, um, that one there. Hold on. I just want to show this off because I can. I know you guys probably get the idea. But if we de now go ahead and science this. There we go. Man, there's so many people in the way. So we want Gray's log. We want Aunt Maxon's log. We're going to read these later. Hmm. Interesting. Whatever. Anyway, so we are going to go for... We're going to go for right this one here. The three minute self-destruct sequence. And I'd rather it does it this way so the game tells you how much time I have left. Let's get the hell out of this place, shall we? Let us run for our lives. Don't trigger the guards. That was good. So we now have five minutes to get out of here. Hope you remember the ways you went. Oh, shit. And i got to be careful because my guys might get themselves killed, which would be regretful. Can't science that. I need to do this, don't I? Run. Oh, piss. It seems to be random the time that will activate for. Of course, you do this on this on your own. It's a lot easier. Um, it's much, much easier. Because you can just run through this with your armor, but uh, we unfortunately can't do that. Right, run. Continued running. Ow. Still traps around, of course. Continue running. Continue running. That we're just going to have to run through, of course. I can't do anything about the red ones. AI are going to take some uh, ugly damage here. Floor one. Shit. Um, I need to just put a save down here. Just, I need to just check what the AI's health is. To make sure they're not going to die if I run through this. Oh, shit. She needs healing. Fuck. Right, we have plenty of time. The idea is you've got the time in case you end up getting into a really bad situation. As I say, if, good luck if you accidentally trigger like 30 seconds or a minute. You ain't getting out of here, folks. It's it's not happening. Let's just heal our AIs here quickly. Right, let's get out of here, shall we? That'd be the quickest way, but at least this way I can disable all these monitors and things. Right. Come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Now, you can't just leave the base as well. You need to get all the way out of this place. Yeah. Let's GTFO. Brotherhood, guys, you might want to join me. Thanks for the little bit of help you did. I suppose the rocket launcher guy was pretty cool. Run! I think it's fair to say that worked, everyone. Military base. There, um... There ain't much of it left. 10,000 more experience points, folks. Oh yeah. Level 14. Super, super nice. The military base is down. Bomb to hell completely destroyed 
take that, mutants. I tell you what, let's quickly head on back to the Brotherhood. I was thinking of doing this, like, next video, but I tell you what, I might as well do this little bit now. Of course, this isn't the end of the game. We've only dealt with one of the two situations we need to deal with. What is this? Ah, hello! It's, uh, Paladins! If you've not spoken with our cat yet, then go. Then do so, then go. You visit the brother. Some may trust you. I do not. State your business. Um... I want to see a friendly face. <sighs> Fine. Yeah, they're still not the happiest bunch, the uh, Paladins, but okay. Whatever. I just didn't want to fight. Let's get out of here. Maxon! Oh, Maxon! I have stupendous news! We may have kicked ass and saved the day. Hello again, Initiate. Uh, things going well? You won't actually tell me how amazing I am. Sure. Then get up. <laughs> okay. Whatever. What about the elders? Do they say anything? Surely the elders say something. I just took on the fucking military base. It's down. Good work with the mutants. We already heard that you destroyed their production facility. <laughs> Thanks for taking care of that problem for us. No problemo. I hope you enjoyed that, folks. That was everything. So, yeah. We have defeated the mutants at the military base. It is down. This master can no longer attempt to... Uh, use the vats uh, contained there to improve and continue to produce his mutant army. However, we've only dealt with his army. There is still the master himself and if our theories are to be believed, we know that he is actually down below in the uh, somewhere in that cathedral. The cathedral was built on the vault, and uh, our spy there is sure the master resides within. That is the second part of the end game, folks. We've destroyed the source of the mutants. Now we need to take down the leader. So before we finish the um, video, folks, there is one thing that I suppose I should do a bit of cleaning up. Now, do you guys remember Harold, the mutant um, from uh, that we found in the hub back in Old Town? Now, mutant, uh, the ghoul. Um, now, you'll remember that Harold talked to us about. Um, he um, he mentions about a place he found um, with one of, with a friend of his, um, and they while they were trying to survive long ago, they were attempting to. Um, they stumbled upon. Uh, uh, an old facility. Um, it was like that security wiped out most of their friends. It was only him and his friend. Um, and uh, unfortunately, the two got separated, and Harold barely survived, and we know where he is now. We need to read those logs we just got. We shall start with Maxon's log. By my orders as acting commanding officer following the untimely death of Colonel Robert Spindle during this time of crisis, the full base... Oh no, not that one. Captain Maxon's diary, that's the one. I, Roger Maxon, Captain, have started this mission because it doesn't look good for any of us. I'd like for people to know what really happened here. All hell broke loose when we finally discovered what those scientist bastards were up to. The Colonel had locked himself in his office and seems to be having some sort of breakdown. The men are screaming for blood. They're looking to me for answers. I'm not sure what to do. Someone has to do something though before this place sinks into an anarchist bloodbath. October 12th. 
Every time we get a report from higher up, things get worse here. The war is going in a very bad direction. And this place is about to go into fuel mutiny. With all the chaos that entails, I stopped one of my men from executing a scientist today and demanded that we interrogate them to find out what their orders are. This is all when the bombs were going down. To the 13th. So this is Roger Maxon. I believe this is um, General Maxon's. I believe it's either his father or grandfather. I think it's his grandfather, if memory serves me correctly. 13th, anyways. October 13th. Good day. I killed a man today. I was interrogating Chief Scientist Anderson um, when he was giving me the full details of their inhuman experiments. He said his orders came straight from the government, but I didn't buy it. <coughs> He started screaming about how he was following orders, how he was a military man, and I just shot him. I tell myself it was to keep him from causing a full mutiny among the men, but I'm not too sure. 15th. I tried again to speak to the colonel through the door, but he seems to have completely lost touch of reality. I broke down the door with several of the men just in time to watch him blow his head off. Right before he pulled the trigger. He said he was sorry. The 18th. By killing the egghead, I seem to have confirmed my position as leader of the men. They follow me without question now. The interrogations invariably end up being executions. Shellman held out the longest, but the end result was the same. Her arguments about our orders were a bit too specific. Too specific? Too specific to be completely made up. I'm getting a real bad feeling in my gut about how this is all going to end up. I don't even lie to myself anymore about my reasons for executing the scientists. The 20th. So this all happened in the space of a good couple of weeks. I finally replied to the outside world over our radio. I don't know why they never sent anyone here to see what was happening when we stopped responding to their transmissions. It doesn't make any sense. Well, they'll come now. I declared ourselves succeeded from the Union. They remember Jefferson Davis. What will history say about me? 22nd. Of course, they don't know what's happened. All this care has been going on in the military bunker in the base. Of course, it's underground. They had no idea what was going on. What the hell is, go what is, the hell is going on? We declare ourselves to be in full desertion of the army and no longer under the government's command. And what happens? Nothing. Something bad is coming down. And then they find out. Can't believe those bastards finally did it. Damn them all to hell. They finally let the A-bombs fly. We were right in the middle of trying to pry the real story out of Von Felden when we completely lost contact. I have a feeling the research centre was hit hard. I don't know why. Just call it a gut feeling. It seems inconceivable that we were not targeted. I'm sure China will make up for that oversight real soon. Luckily, we had moved our families from outside into the facility the day before yesterday. This is the glow. We do not yet know if the floor has reached this area. 25th. Sergeant Platner volunteered to go outside today to take specific readings on the atmosphere. It seems the radiation has not spread this far. Since he was wearing his power armour, there was no threat to him from radiation. But if he had been exposed, he would have had to have been exiled. We don't have adequate decontamination facilities. This is a breakdown of what was going on in the actual facility. The next day, convinced my men that we should bury the scientists. I don't know why. Perhaps it was to ease my conscience. If I started to believe their stories when the last one was dying. Oh my god, what have I become? And on the 27th, we're leaving this godforsaken place today. I'm leaving the Exodus to the old government bunker at Lost Hills. I'm leaving this log behind to be buried when this place goes into the next exchange. Who knows? Maybe someone will find it someday. Of course, the Lost Hills Bunker is here. Uh, Captain Maxon left the Mariposa military base, sick of what happened there, and went to the bunker here, and thus ultimately founded the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, and it would uh, carry on until the time the game plays. Now, the big one. Richard Gray, Audio Diary. Bear in mind, this happens 
yeah, over the course. Now this happens over a course of time, but how far? I don't know. I'm dying. He gets down before the pain overwhelms me. I can't believe that I was finally able to drag myself out of that vat. The slime did not affect me, but I nearly drowned. I don't know what happened to Harold. He was standing right next to me when the crane knocked me into the vat. He must have been killed or he would have tried to help me. Francine is dead, killed by one of those robots. I have no idea how much time has passed. I was able to hack the computer, turn off the robots and record this. That's what I was trying to do, but it didn't work. But now my mind is slipping away. There is much pain. The green slime that I was immersed in is the source of all the mutations we trace to here. My skin is to fester and peel. In other areas it is bubbling and started expelling a green mucus like substance. Some days the pain is almost tolerable. I can actually walk a few steps again. It seems inconceivable that I dragged myself all the way up here from the vat room. Strangely, actually feeling stronger, though I'm still in a lot of pain. Everything seems to be getting smaller. Of course we know what's happening to him. Or do we? I think I can see one of the mutated things scurrying around here today. Before I knew what was happening, some sort of tendril had sprung from my stomach and covered the poor creature. As soon as it had sucked the road into my gut, I could actually feel it's mine. I think. There is the very real possibility that I'm going slowly insane and can no longer differentiate between what is real and what is a hallucination. Maybe I'm still slowly dying in the vat and I'm all imagine imagining all this. Things are becoming more clear to me every day. This toxin has actually my mind. I feel that I can understand even the most complex philosophical questions simply and directly. It's as if all the layers of artifice have been stripped away. I wonder what would happen if I submerged an animal into the vats for a prolonged period of time. Would it gain awareness? I'm sure you can all see where this is leading. The strangest thing is happening to the animals. They actually become smarter and more aware of their surroundings. I dipped a dog and a rat at the same time today and they were fused together. It's not quite two creatures anymore, but it's more than one. Perhaps this is the future. A coming together of different creatures in some sort of harmonious unity. I no longer consume the different animals I create simply for sustenance. I have become the instrument through which unity will be achieved. I am so much more than a human being now. It is time to bring others into the glory that is the unity. Oh Richard. Oh Richard. A lost soul has finally strayed into my home. <clears throat> I was so surprised I consumed him before dipping. A mistake I shall not make again. His mind was so primitive as to be repulsive to my refined cognitive abilities. I've begun to modify myself to be more pleasing to the unity by injecting small doses of the virus into my body. The slime in the vats is a man-made virus called the Force Evolutionary Virus. This information was acquired from my newly grown Neuralink with the base computer. He's literally mutating horrendously. The few wanderers that have found their way here have been a disappointment to me. They can't seem to mutate correctly. Of course we know what this is all about. The people that got exposed to the, to the FEV uh, minutely of course became resistant to it. The best I've been able to create are some big and dumb mutants. Most can recall nothing from before I initiated them into the wondrous unity. I only feed on them for fuel now. Their minds are nothing to me. Oh, glorious creator. I have succeeded in spreading the complete joy unification to another soul. Unlike the others, his total radiation count was low. I believe this is the fact that we have been overlooking all 
this time, as it seems the conversion is more successful in the cases with less radiation damage. I have never known such glory as I felt when taking his mind into our own. We are beginning to create an army dedicated to the unifying the wonderful diversity of life. I think that could be the lieutenant, by the way. We have trained them to continue our work here while we search out more populated areas to take into ourselves. We are beginning to feel the limitations of a body that is mobile. We must find a permanent home with a greater store of knowledge and a steady supply of biomass. We have stopped increasing ourselves <coughs> until we can find this new unification center. <coughs> oh dear, apologize. When we have arrived, we will continue to grow and feed until we have brought peace and unity to the entire world. So yeah. Harold and Richard Gray, along with a few others, stumbled upon um, the military base accidentally. Um, and most of them died. Harold got knocked out, but eventually lived, escaped and lived. Richard Gray was not so fortunate. He got knocked into a vat. And um, he mutated. He mutated badly. However, he mutated in such a way in that he maintained his own general mind, basically. And um, as you can tell how things have changed from him, he is the one seeking the unity. Richard Gray, Harold's old friend, is the master. And he is the man that we must take down in order to stop his madness. Oh yeah. But one task remains. Destroy the mutant leader. And next time, that is exactly what we're going to be doing. We must head to the cathedral one last time. And put an end to everything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.